Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokeaim here, and I'm bringing you a second Wi-Fi battle today. I kind of wanted to test the quality on how this looks. Uh, my boy Duncan Knee Deep gave me some settings. So I'm using the same team as last time, except I exchanged Mega Kangaskhan for Dodrio, because Gator had a Dodrio too. So that's another one of the normal types that he ended up trading me. Uh, but if you guys want to have the team, there's a Poke Paste down below. Again, just using stuff I want to use on Wi-Fi. I saw a suggestion for Dodrio as well, so I figured I'd try it out. Uh, it's SD Dodrio with Thrash, Jump Kick, and Drill Peck, so I'm pretty excited. Usually Facade is better than Thrash, but I'm sure that the power is going to be necessary. Oh, that's another team down here that you guys can see eventually that I'll be using uh, with Mega Pinsir. But yeah, let's see what my opponent has. Beautiful, beautiful. Nothing outspeeds Dodrio except two speed ties with Tauros and uh, Alolan Dugtrio. So I'm pretty sure my Dodrio is going to go in. Mega Pinsir has a Venom off. Hmm. I kind of want to lead off with it and just start clicking buttons. But I feel like that's really reckless. Actually, no, it's not reckless of me. Because it has Jump Kick for Alolan Duggy. Uh, it has Jump Kick for Tauros. And it has Drill Pack for the two Grass types. I'm going to lead off with Dodrio here. Let's see if we can put in a little bit of work. A little bit of quick work, because it looks like Dodrio just goes in, like I said. Of course, if you guys do enjoy, feel free to leave a like and subscribe and whatnot. But I'm, I'm just testing this to see how the quality difference is. Uh, I was a little bit pixelated at some points, and I think that was in my settings. At least with how I was rendering it and whatnot. Uh, and also the settings on uh, Adobe Premiere Pro. So, I feel like I just lead off a Dodrio, and I'm going to click buttons every single time. I love male Dodrio as well. I think the black neck is really cool. Female isn't bad either. Uh, no real Drill Peck resist because Alolan Duggy dies to Drill Peck into Jump Kick. So I don't even have to bother predicting. If I SD'd right here, I probably won immediately. <laughs> but it's not worth it. Especially because this looks like his rocker. That did so much. Alright. We're going to click Jump Kick here. If we win a Speed Tie as well. Uh, then, and we land. Woo! That's big Dodrio. That means my opponent gets no rocks in this game. It is time. It is time. I think I'm going to SD up with Dodrio and just try and sweep him. That's it. When he brings out Tentacruel, which I think might be next, I may. Because I definitely Drill Peck Victory Bell. I Drill Peck Venom off. Brings out Tauros. Am I willing to SD up and risk his speed tie? It's not worth it right now. I'll do it later. I'll do it later. I can definitely do it to them, though. So we're going to go right on here, and this will allow me to get my rocks. Uh, my opponent does not get rocks, and rocks at least mean that I'm pretty sure Thrash is going to destroy my opponent. I'm assuming a Rock Slide, or... Uh, yeah, I think Rock Slide would be the only thing to come out. Maybe a Double Edge. So we get up our rocks here. Uh, maybe Victory Bell could come out here. I could see that. I have Drill Peck on both Dodrio and on Zapdos, so I would switch out into Victory Bell here. I feel like you could try and weaken me with Earthquake, but if he does attempt to weaken me with Earthquake, Rhydon is only here for Tauros. If he did, I'd go for Earthquake of my own, then I'd go Dodrio and just win. So there's Victory Bell. Nice. Uh, I'm going to allow it to sleep something. I still like Rhydon because it takes on Tauros, and again, I feel like Dodrio just comes in and clicks Drill Peck and does not care. Hmm. As far as sleep goes, Clefable looks to be the most useless considering my opponent has three poison types. So Clef can go to sleep if he wants to go for that. Or he can go for Mega Drain or Swords Dance. Ooh. So Swords Dance Sucker Punch is definitely an option. Well, not here. Like, he's not going to Sucker Punch me. He's obviously going to go for Power Whip or something. Oh, Ice Beam. I doubt I live it. It's a strong move. And he should be faster than me. Poison jab as well, obviously, yep. There I go. So, okay, so Dodrio lives Sucker Punch. It's Dodrio. And Drill Peck will definitely knock him out. But is it better to go Zapdos first? The thing is, I don't think my Zapdos actually knocks it out with, uh, with Drill Peck. Considering I'm timid. I went timid because after Rocks, you three, uh... You took a KO Venusaur anyway, so. And without, it's the same thing always. Dropek does not do enough. Um, okay, Dojo is my play. Click that young Dropek here. I kind of want to SD up first though, and avoid a Sucker Punch. 
But if my opponent goes for Poison Jab, I lose so much from it. So I'm just going to click Drill Peck. I'm assuming they do Sucker Punch. No, they don't. Nice. Hey, Dojiro is coming through. I'm about to thrash around with this Mon, too. Woo! All I need is damage. All I need is damage on... He could have also been Sorzan Sleep Powder, Poison Jab, uh, Power Whip. I, I, again, I'm assuming it still gets Power Whip in this game. Or maybe not Power Whip, but... No, it, it does. I'm, 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 you know what? I'm checking right now. I'm checking right now. I have a list. I have a list right here. I'm going to check if it still gets Power Whip. Because I knew that SD Victory Bell was something that I want to try out. It does get power up, level 54. Pinsir comes out. Uh, that is not faster than me, even when it mega evolves. You can go ahead and give me this pincer too. Bro, you can I'm jolly, bro. You can go ahead and give me this pincer as well. Ooh, Dojiro going in. Pinsir also doesn't have like area late in this game, so. Dojiro does not care. Oh, I barely missed out on the KO. Rock slide. Is that gonna Oko me from full? Big Dojiro lived. I feel like if you're running Pinsir in this, you're not running Quick Attack. You're running Swords Dance, uh, Earthquake or Super Power, X Scissor, and Rock Slide. So I'm going to Drill Peck again. Nice. Hey, chop it up as three kills for Dodrio. Going in. Not bad. Not bad at all. That's what I like to see. When I use a Pokemon and it puts in work. Of course, my opponent had like the perfect team for me to do this too. I don't think drill pet, I mean jump kick will knock out Tauros, but I also think it's worth keeping this thing alive. Let me see real quick. Let me see if I can uh, put in some EVs here and figure out. Drill pack, uh, thrash, and jump kick. I know Tauros is bulky enough to live it. Jump kick, Tauros. Jump kick does uh, 57 to 68%, so definitely not in range. As far as winning goes, what's my best play? Right on loses to everything. But I feel like Gyarados, Zapdos, Dodrio, I think Muck is expendable. Because I don't want him earthquaking on me going right on. I like it better that I can go out into right on after and go for earthquake and get off the damage I need on Tauros to, to win the game with... Uh, yeah, see, he earthquaked here, predicting my ride on. Exactly. So, it's better that I get in right on after and click earthquake, because earthquake literally picks off a Pokemon. And then Dojo can win the end game. So, he'll knock me out here. I'll just crunch. Goes for double edge just in case I win Zapdos. I can respect that play. But it's also getting even more damage off on you, which I love for jump kick. Alright, so now we go right on and we click earthquake. We do not care. Is Toxic... No, 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 no. Toxic's not better than Earthquake. I'm trying to make it so Dojo wins, but... Which I feel is very possible. Yo, Rattle took nothing from that. I am Impish, after all. And Tauros is not going to appreciate this hit. Beautiful. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken... Huh. Do I want to risk... I want Dojo to win this game for me. I feel like I go Zapdos in U-turn. Uh, if this doesn't work out, I still have right on the end of the day. And it's actually not worth risking it. But I would avoid the Earthquake. I want Dojo to win the game, right? But at the same time, I also do not want my opponent to be able to set up with Venomoth. So by doing this, I U-turn. I live the Rock Slide. Of course he can flinch me. And if I do it, then I basically did this for no reason. But Zapdos lives too. Nice. Doesn't flinch me. Hey. Ah, <laughs> you turned to not pick up the KO. No. I really, 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 really want to do it with him with Dojo though. I'm risking this. I'm risking this tie. I really hope the KO'd because then I got in Dojo. I could either thrash Tentacle to put it in range of Thunderbolt. Or uh, obviously Drill Peck the Venom off that he has. But... Let's see if we can run another speed tie with Dodrio. No! Ah, <laughs> uh, poor Dodrio. I wanted it to do the most work. Because I also didn't want Venomoth to set up on me too. But he goes down, so it's a double down.
I go Zapdos here. Zapdos deals with Tentacruel, and Zapdos uh, should be able to deal with Venomoth, if I'm not mistaken. I'm getting another game after this. I'm just letting everybody know I'm getting another game. Oh, what if my opponent doesn't respect sleep? I feel like by the way my opponent plays... Okay, never mind. Drill pack Oko's uh, this thing. That just makes me sad, though, because I really, 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 really wanted to do it then with Dojo. But, I mean, Dojo put in a lot of work, though. I can't deny that. I can't deny Dojo put in work. Had I won that speed tie, I think it was a wrap, though. I'm going to get one more, though. I'm going to get one more because I want Dojo to put in just a little bit more work. This is speed tie here, too. Uh, unless he's not max speed, of course. AKA not timid, but he can't knock me out with Ice Beam anyway. Tentacruel is relatively weak. And at the end of the day, I still have Gyarados' Earthquake to knock him out. So once this Earthquake connects, or once this Thunderbolt connects, and let's say at worst my opponent freezes me here with Ice Beam, or is physical, okay, that could work too. Now, this is the perfect opportunity for Dojo. I'm happy it put in work. I, I mean, it won one speed tie, which is really nice because I didn't have to deal with rocks, obviously. But all right, Zapdos finished them off, as pretty much expected. Really hype about Dojo, though. Let's find another game right after that. I'm kind of tempted to challenge this person again, just so I can, just so I can drill back Adrian again. <laughs> that was a really fun one, though. I, I really wish that U-Turn knocked out Tauros, though. I really do. Because, I mean, obviously Rhydon was a safer way, but another reason why I did that is because if Rhydon was in and I knocked out Tauros, I give Venomoth Quiver Dance opportunities, and you never know on Wi-Fi, right? I play with the mindset of, I can, I, I play with Sleep Claws, right? Because I play Smog on Rules. Um, I play with Sleep Claws. So I'm only going to sleep one Pokemon. And if that Pokemon is asleep, I'm not going to sleep another one, right? Obviously, it doesn't count if my opponent goes for rest. Because then I can sleep a Pokemon because I didn't sleep that Pokemon. Uh, but on here, you don't know what they play by. So your opponent could just go for the uh, Sleep Powder, Quiver Dance up, and Sleep Powder again on Zapdos. So by having in a Flying type, like either Zapdos or Dodrio on Venomoth, I don't give them the opportunity to go for Sleep Powder because I'm faster. Alright, and there's the Mewtwo of the day. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. We're gonna lead off with the boy. Uh, he matches up well versus his Rocker, which is a Lolan Sand Slash. Also, I can SD up on uh, Wigglytuff. That sucks. Ah, uh, last game was really fun, though. I, I cannot deny how fun that last game was. I'm really happy about that. Let me just put in Dodrio in my damage calc real quick, just so we can, you know, just know damage, obviously. I'm gonna call this Dodrio Thrashes Around, even though he <laughs> he obviously drove hecked. Because I think it were, it's like a play on words, obviously. Let's see how my opponent wants to deal with this. All right, so leads off with Wigglytuff. Hmm. So plus two drill pack. Plus two drill pack does not KO. Plus two thrash does, and it allows my opponent to bring in their. I don't know how you're dealing with this. Plus two thrash guarantee KOs you, which that much I know. I'm gonna go for thrash and just play on me getting two hits. Because it'll two hit KO you anyway. That is so much more damage than what I thought. Wow, that did so much more damage. Than what it looked like it was supposed to. If I would have known, I would have just SD'd up and drill pecked. But ideally I get a two turn thrash. So I can switch out. Or even just risk it and jump kick that Alolan Sand Slash, which is actually a very big threat. Uh, I have two ways of winning this game. Mega Gyarados. Mega Gyarados is really good versus Mewtwo, as well as Muck. And obviously Zapdos is just fantastic no matter what. So if he wants to switch out into Alolan Slash, that's fine too. Uh, jump kick is going to Oko that thing anyway. Go ahead and give me this. Come on, Dojo. Get the, get the two turn. Get the two turn. Hey, not bad. So I can switch out Dodrio now. That's beautiful. I'm glad I clicked that. Of course, it depends on what my opponent brings in that I could switch it out because Blastoise is a giant threat. Uh, Mewtwo is obviously a giant threat. And of course, Sand Slash, I can... Am I willing to break through confusion 
and wrist jump kick. I kind of feel like I am just for the video. I don't know though. I don't know just yet. That sounds like Sand Slash to me. Ooh, am I willing to do it, guys? Not only do I have to break through confusion. Well, first off, I don't switch in very well to this anyway. Am I willing to break through? I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Do drill. You're already getting the thumbnail, bro. Make me proud. Make me proud. That is what I like to see, Do drill. That is what I like to see. You have earned that spot on the thumb. I mean, you already earned it anyway. But you have definitely earned that spot. You broke through confusion and click jump kick. Amazing. I didn't really switch in very well to that thing stab anyway. Uh, my Gyarados isn't mega evolved. Rocks are up. So Icicle Crash is neutral. Zathos is obviously weak to it. Uh, my Clefable can't do much to him anyway. Is this Muck? That's Muck. You guys think he's... I don't know if he's Giga Drain. I feel like going Clefable is the better play and just Thunder Waving. I think Clef has a lot less use. I don't want to go hard right on just in case he is Mega Drain. And Crunch is more likely than Poison Jab, but we'll see though. Rock Slide. Okay, cool. So I can go Clef and Thunder Wave it to guarantee that my ride on is faster. So we're going to do that. I'm assuming because I'm a Fairy type, he's going to be tempted to stay in anyway and go for the... Uh, Go for the poison jab. So ideally, Thunder Wave does connect. You know, 90% accuracy isn't the best for us. But also, if he opts to switch, this is really good in general. Nice. Hey, nice Thunder Wave, Clef. Coming through. Appreciate you, fam. And he gets full paralyzed. So I think because poison jab is definitely coming out, is it worth going hard right on? It is. And getting up rocks for, for Blastoise, for Charizard. Like, even regular Blastoise is a threat. I'm gonna get up rocks. Because I feel like you'd go Blastoise if anything. Earthquake is really good, but I really want rocks for Charizard too. Because Dodrill just goes in. And he gets two para... Yo, I'm getting really lucky with pairs. This is the second time I've paralyzed somebody with Clefable. Maybe it's my lucky Pokemon. I paralyzed someone with Clefable, and they've been paired twice. So now we can get up rocks. Um, if Muck switches out, that's fine. I already have my own Clefable as... My basically death fodder, so the Pokemon that I'm willing to sack no matter what my opponent does. So whether they go Blastoise or Charizard or anything. And again, with Rocks up and the fact that my opponent has no electric resist. Maybe they might go hard Charizard, but even then that's not really a play. I feel like, yeah, it looks like Blastoise. This is Turtle in the name, so I'm assuming. Nice shiny Blastoise. Alright, so Rocks for Charizard, Rocks for Mewtwo. And Rocks also because Dodrio can click Thrash and... KO everything. So this is where the part where, like I said, uh, Clefable is the most expendable member. All I needed was a Thunder Wave just to make sure that my Rhydon is later, faster than Muck. And by him showing Rock Slide, I don't think my opponent had Mega Drain. Goes for a regular Earthquake. I've been seeing, I've been seeing Earthquake, Dark Pulse, uh, Blastoise a lot. All right, so he should be able to knock me out. But if he's not. I'm a Thunderbolt here for damage. I'm not going to Thunder Wave. I'm about to say, am I dodging that too? Clef, you crazy if you dodge that. Alright, so this is pretty good. Um, in a sense that now I get in Zapdos and my opponent's Electric Resist does not exist. And if my opponent allows me to hit this, uh, d uh, this Blastoise with Thunderbolt, then Dodrio can just come out and clean up. And I love it. And if he goes Muck, I Thunderbolt into U-Turn and go right on one more time. And once again, my opponent does not have a an electric or a ground well a good bright on switching or an electric resist so uh, this is just win-win for me worst case they crit me here with ice beam or i feel like blastoise gets mirror coat i mean i know it does in regular i don't know about here kind of feel like it does ah uh, this boy about to be in range of drill pack too so it's definitely worth keeping zapdos alive just because his only pokemon that guarantee outspeeds it is mewtwo why was i Almost about to switch instead of U-turn. U-turn is always better, in a sense, because I get the momentum of the turn if my opponent switches. I really hope the quality looks better. I think it will. Yeah, but keeping Gyarados alive is really good for Blastoise, really good for Charizard, uh, especially Charizard, and really good for Mewtwo too, because Crunch has no resistances either with Muck being gone here. 
Dude, I am so sorry. I was not trying to, uh, I was not trying to paralyze you to death. I promise. I promise. And now I think my opponent's just gonna sack this because Muk dies to Thunderbolt if it switches out and comes back in. And if you go Blastoise, you give me damage for Dodrio too. So if I'm my opponent, I sack this. Paralysis really is still strong, even in Let's Go OU. Are you gonna risk Charizard? That doesn't do anything to me. Okay, it goes Blastoise and gives me damage on it. At this point, because Muk does go down, I don't have to go out into, uh... Ooh, yeah, I'm going Dodrio. We're picking up some, we're picking up some threats after this. Because Muk does go down, I can afford to sack Rhydon. Or the other option is to actually sack Zapdos. Because Rhydon still guarantee walls Charizard. Whereas Zapdos risks a speed tie. However, in my mind, the way I'm beating Charizard is Dodrio. So at this point, I think it's worth sacking Rhydon. Muck still being able to deal with everything. Alright, good. I would have felt bad if my opponent missed right there. I'll be honest with ya. I would have felt real bad. Nice, nice, nice. Should I go Dodrio and pick this off? Yes, I should. Dodrio thrashes about. That's what I like to see. That's my title. I feel it already. In my soul. What's up, buddy? Go ahead and give him my drop. I love this thing speed tier. I love its ability to Swords Dance. It also has, obviously, re recovery and roost. My opponent has no switch in. Charizard is at half. If he actually goes Charizard after, I'm going to thrash. He has to go Mewtwo after. Oh, Blastoise doesn't live this, by the way. Just, just if anybody was wondering. I don't think anybody... Yeah, I don't think anybody thought Blasters would live. It does 33 to 38%. Ah, uh, Muck dies. If he goes Charizard, I'm thrashing you. He's going to go Mewtwo. I feel anyway. Yeah, Mewtwo. What language is uh, my opponent's game in? Okay, so at this point, we sack Muck. I mean, uh, Zapdos. We don't go directly into Muck. The reason we don't go directly into Muck is because if my opponent goes for Ice Beam here, we're not trying to give my opponent multiple opportunities to freeze me. You know? Is it X or Y? This is also pretty important too. Ooh, it's Y. Okay, so that makes it a lot easier too. It's not X, so it doesn't have, probably doesn't have Earthquake. My Zathos probably dies. Yeah, it's a Mewtwo after all. So... I go Muck here and I click Crunch. Is Muck better than going Gyarados? I think Gyarados is better. Because Gyarados is more likely my opponent will stay in. And they might actually try and Psychic me. But I Mega Evolve. Shout out to Gator for this Shiny Gyarados too. Always love Shiny Gyarados. Gold is my favorite game. Click that Crunch, Mega Evolve, and not care about anything my opponent does. I think Gyarados cleans up though but I want Dojo to do it so it's like ah uh, maybe they'll sack Muck here in this game uh, Mega Mewtwo Y doesn't have anything for Mega Gyarados so yeah I'll probably see that Muck sack or you go hard Charizard and, and die <laughs> not sure why bro Muck definitely did nothing. But it doesn't matter. Mega Gyarados wins. I crunch this. I waterfall Muck. I crunch uh, Mewtwo and I win. That was it. That's game. I'm so happy though but Do that Dodrio put in so much work in the early game. Dodrio is so cool. Yeah, Muck should have been sacked. I don't think Muck beat anything. At least Charizard could outspeed me and threaten me with Will-O-Wisp or something. So if you were in my opponent's position and you had uh, Will-O-Wisp on your Charizard, your play there would be to sack Muck, then go Charizard, uh, Mega- Oh, we can't Mega Evolve, but go for Will-O-Wisp. Which at least would allow Mewtwo to potentially recover stall it, maybe? Because even at that point, Mega Gyarados is still way too bulky. So who knows? 
Last but not least, that Mewtwo, and I'm gonna crunch you. I wish I could make it that Dojo won the end game, but hey, Dojo picked up some KOs early. Got rid of the Fairy type early for this. <laughs> That's probably his best attack to hit me. <laughs> that is more than likely his best attack to hit me. Because on a Calm Mind set, you'll either run Calm Mind, Psychic, Flamethrower, Slash Ice Beam, and then maybe Recover. At least Swift lets you hit Dark type, so I can, I can respect that. I think Thunderbolt would be better, though. I definitely use Thunderbolt, I feel. Oh, well. Able to win that game. <laughs> that Swift kind of was like, what? But I do hope you guys all enjoyed. Uh, Dojiro definitely put in a ton of work. Of course, if you did enjoy, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Let me know if the quality is a little bit different. Uh, you might not see much, but it should be. Basically, it should be a lot more clear than what it was before. Goodbye, my friends.